What's up, TARS? Can't wait for all of us to be back on campus soon. Rollins has been hard at work creating a comprehensive plan to support the health and well-being of our community. And today, I'm sharing with you these plans so we can commit to the TARS promise. We are attending college in the midst of a global pandemic and a very important social movement, facing many challenges that are unique to this moment. But learning to tackle the world's toughest challenges is one of the reasons we all came to Rollins in the first place. We all want to remain on campus, living and learning together throughout the course of the semester. So let's all make the TARS promise to combat the spread of COVID-19 at Rollins. We are working to ensure that Rollins can offer as safe an in-person experience as possible. I promise to follow the daily wellness screening guidelines and monitor my own symptoms. Wear a mask, maintain appropriate physical distancing, wash my hands often with soap and water or use hand sanitizer. Refrain from organizing, hosting, or attending large gatherings that are likely to increase the risk of contracting or spreading COVID-19. Keeping my personal space and shared common spaces clean. Staying home if I feel ill or if I've been exposed to someone who is ill or has tested positive for COVID-19. Participating in testing and contact tracing as needed in order to help the college track COVID-19 cases. And I will also be sensitive, supportive, and helpful to my fellow students faculty members, and college staff members as we navigate this new normal. It comes down to personal responsibility. This must be our promise. I know I'll be extra conscious of my decisions this year, and I hope you'll join me. So let's talk about masks. Wearing face masks is one of the most important actions we can all take to suppress the spread of the virus, because face masks are useful both in preventing illness in healthy individuals and in preventing asymptomatic transmission. We'll be required to wear a mask everywhere on campus inside and outside, including to attend class and visiting friends' rooms. The only exception is when you're in your private residential room alone. Remember, wearing a mask isn't only about self-protection, it's also about protecting others from infection. When a community wears face masks consistently, the number of COVID-19 cases is reduced. Each member of our campus community has to play a part in reducing the spread of COVID-19. Our return to campus will start with everyone, residential and commuter students, participating in a drive through wellness check. Before moving in or attending your first class, you'll go to the Alphonse Sports Center parking lot where tents will be set up in two stations. First, you'll go to the wellness tent to meet with nurses for a COVID-19 screening. They'll ask you a couple questions and take your temperature. As you can see, they're pros. Here you'll get your wellness welcome kit, complete with two reusable cloth face masks, hand sanitizer, digital thermometer, and a sheet with COVID-19 details to help you recognize symptoms locations of testing on and off campus, and who to report to if you test positive. If you did not pass your screening, you will head to the Wellness Center for a rapid COVID-19 test and medical evaluation. If you're moving in and you did pass your screening, you'll head over to the next tent and meet our residential life and explorations team. Here, you'll receive your room key and our card. Campus will also look different. There will be a lot of reminders around, including distancing markers and directional signs. You'll see hand sanitizer dispensers all around campus. Plexiglass shields and barriers have been installed in high traffic areas, and Facilities Services is practicing enhanced cleaning and sanitation procedures, including deep cleaning of commonly used and high traffic spaces. As I mentioned earlier, part of the TARS promise is a commitment to monitor our own symptoms. Rollins has partnered with Campus Clear to offer a mobile app to easily complete this daily wellness screening. It takes less than a minute to complete. Here's how I'm planning on using it. Every morning when I wake up, I'm going to open the Campus Clear app. It asks me, how am I feeling today? I select from the list. If I have no symptoms, like now, I get the all clear to start my day. If I had symptoms, the app will tell me that I'm not cleared for campus access and direct me to immediately call and set up an appointment with the wellness center. If you're not feeling well, you should not attend class or work and alert your professors of your absence. This daily attention to our community's health will help decrease the transmission of COVID-19 to our campus community. Let's go visit the Wellness Center to see what the college's rapid results testing devices and COVID-19 tests look like. Morning, how are you? I'm here for a COVID test. After making an appointment at the Wellness Center, arrive on time. The nurses and nurse practitioners here can test students for COVID-19. It's not scary, it's easy. Thank you. Bye. Nurses will have your results within 30 minutes, so make sure you have your phone ready so you don't miss their call. The medical experts at the Wellness Center are here for us. 
If you do test positive for COVID-19, there's isolation space on campus for you to recover, and you won't miss a beat of your studies with faculty and staff supporting food delivery, virtual class attendance, and daily check-ins from wellness. As you can see, Rollins is taking momentous steps to protect our community this school year. However, the responsibility also lies with each of us to keep TARS safe and to commit fully to the TARS promise. Make sure to review the college's COVID-19 website for updates on returning to Rollins. Stay tuned for more about what campus life will look like this year. See you next time.